day three, the final push. Thank you all for showing up this morning. Uh, and we have an exciting day ahead. I have a few short announcements, and then we're going to get started. Um, first of all, if my slides will work, am I pushing this button hard enough? If I push it harder, it will work. Is there like a power reset on this thing? That's what you usually do, right? Okay. So, how many are, are having a chance to look at the amazing wall of co-creation outside? I am inspired by it. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at how much blue there is for offers of help, which is amazing. How many greens there are of I need help with, and of course, the oranges, the notes of thanks, which are so inspiring to read. Um, today is the last day of the conference. It's your last chance to add your note and your voice to that wall. Um, we're going to find a way at the end to share that with everyone here and to spread uh, those offers of help and those offers of need. Um, but we need you to fill out the cards for us so we can get started on that work and share it with you after the conference. Um, if I were to write my note of thanks, um, for me it's really about um, not only our community, which I'm very thankful for, um, but in terms of being on this stage here today, in this room, it is our volunteers that really make MedicineX possible. Um, we are an academic program. We, we don't have huge budgets. We're, we're not an industry conference. We are a conference for everyone. And we rely on our community and our volunteers to make that happen. So please, if you, if you value uh, as much as I do their assistance today, um, give them some thanks. Give them, show them some love. They're, they work so hard. They are Stanford Hospital volunteers. They work throughout the year to help the students, the, sorry, the, the patients and their families who come through Stanford Hospital. And they volunteer their time to help us with MedicineX to make it possible. So I, I really, I want to, to take a moment to give them a round of applause and to thank them. And, uh, and usually what I do, every, anyone who's been to MedX knows this, I usually wear a volunteer t-shirt on Sunday. Um, I actually couldn't find one that fit me this year, cause that, <laughs> which I guess is a good thing, I don't know. But we'll have to plan ahead for next year to wear one because um, I, I uh, at the end of the day, we really can't do this without our volunteers. Um, a couple more announcements. Uh, PCORI. I mentioned PCORI and their work on including patients as peer reviewers for PCORI-generated studies. PCORI and Bill Silberg are in the lobby. Please take a moment today to sit with them. Give them your feedback about the process uh, and, and help them understand how they can improve their approach to bring everyone into the conversation about their work. The Hub has turned out to be a hit. I, we couldn't have imagined how many people are drawn there, and um, it's been really amazing to see the type of conversations and interactions that have been going on. Just a reminder of all the great things that are happening in the Hub today. Um, it's also on your app, where we have Medic Studio, uh, which really you should take a, a, t a few moments to walk through, and I'm sure you're going to be so engaged, you're going to stick there even longer. Our demo tent, and then we have a series of workshops today in the Everyone Included Precision Medicine tent, um, uh, pioneering precision medicine, storytelling and participatory design, and HIPAA. So please check those sessions out. Um, and of course, if Yoko Sen, our artist in residence, wasn't enough to have you stay till the end, our legendary, legendary MedEx prize table, which anyone who's been here knows, it's, um, uh, that opens up at the end of the day. And you can actually start taking a look at some of the things that are there. How do you get a prize from the prize table? It's really simple. You go to our breakout sessions. So if you attend breakout sessions, you get little red tickets. It's just kind of like, you know, at the Chuck E. Cheese where you throw the ball. Um, <laughs> you go to our breakout sessions and collect those tickets. Uh, and then we'll put them in jars. You have to write your name on them and we'll, we'll count them and, and we'll put up a list of people. And of course, everybody can get a MedX water bottle 
if you complete our survey. We really want to know how to make MedEx better, um, so we're going to have an uh, uh, end-of-conference survey. It's going to come to you by email. It's not the surveys you're doing in the app, but it's a longer survey, not too long. But you fill that out, and then when it shows up on our Survey Monkey that you filled out, we'll, we'll give you one of our amazing water bottles. And of course, Yoko, she has been working so hard on this new piece of sound alchemy, weaving together our collective voices. Um, it's going to be, I think, an amazing piece of work. And um, so we, I really want you to, to stay till the end for that. And speaking of voices, I, I want to take a moment to, to be thankful for our voices here together. And I think reflecting on the fact that the conversations that happen on this stage are important, but they're not the only conversations that happen. And some of the most important conversations happen off the stage, in the audience after a session is over, in the hallways, um, and the those conversations don't always get captured or seen by everyone, and um, the conversations we have on social media don't always um, reflect the conversations that are happening. But I think one thing that we've always seen at Medicine X is underlying it all, um, we may not agree, uh, we may not necessarily even share the same perspective at times, but underlying it all has been, I think, respect. And um, respect for me means more than just being polite. Respect is about seeing, our everyone included way of seeing the expertise that the person sitting next to you has and the expertise that they have to add to the conversation that we're having. They might not have a degree after their name, but they have a PhD in the experience of living with their condition. And um, I think we as a community, um, I guess sometimes we just have to reflect on that and we have to remind ourselves to see each other as people and the expertise that we have because that adds so much to the conversation. Thank you.